We, the Portland Lesbian Choir, humbly acknowledge that the Portland metropolitan area rests on the land inhabited by the many people of the river and the summer guests, including, but not limited to, the tribes of the Multnomah, the Waskow, the Cowlitz, Clackamas, bands of Chinook, and the Confederate tribes of the Grand Ronde, who made their homes along the Columbia, the Wima, and Willamette, Huilamat rivers. Today, Portland's diverse and vibrant native communities are 70,000 strong, descended from more than 380 tribes, both local and distant. We take this opportunity to offer respectful recognition to the native communities in our region today and to those who have stewarded this land throughout the generations. Hey, my name is Tony Jaffe. My pronouns are she, her. I am a soprano and I have been singing with PLC since 2018. You've got to put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Could there be a song more fitting for this time? An anthem to move forward with love and hope. To know that none of us are alone. A song that is fitting for today and for tomorrow. Melanie Damore is an accomplished singer-songwriter who wrote the song in 2016, and it couldn't be more fitting for the season that we are in. Her words are compelling, compassionate, and connecting. Melanie was born in the Bronx, raised in Anchorage, and lives in Oakland. She is a troubadour of tolerance, kindness, harmony, love, and is an admitted kid at heart. You gotta put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. You gotta put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Don't give up hope. Don't give up hope. You're not alone. And leave 
Hello. Thank you for joining us for the first concert of our 35th season. My name is Leanne Todd, my pronouns are she, her, and I'm the president of the Portland Lesbian Choir. This time last year, we had just wrapped our February concert and had held the first rehearsals of our June concert and gala coffee concert. Little did we know what was to come in our community and the world. In the past year, we've been challenged, grown, and redefined the meaning of singing together. We now meet virtually each Wednesday evening to rehearse, sing, and celebrate with each other. This concert was created by the choir individually recording their singing parts, their dance moves, and then a dedicated group stitched the videos and audio together. We love this choir and love making music for you, but we need your help. Traditionally, our concert ticket and ad revenue cover over 60% of the income PLC needs to survive. We have done everything possible to reduce their cost as an organization and are proud to say that we have kept our staff employed at their full capacities during this last year. We're asking for your support so we may continue to hold our rehearsals and produce concerts. PLC is an all-inclusive and non-audition choir welcoming people from all identities and backgrounds. We have been performing since 1986 and are a proud member of the Gay and Lesbian Association of Choruses, the largest LGBTQA choral organization in the world. Your donation will help us to continue to pay our staff, run our rehearsals, and share more music with you. We could not do this without your support. Thank you again for joining us and we hope you enjoy the show. Hi, my name is Nikki. My pronouns are she and her. I've been a member of the Portland Lesbian Choir since the fall of 2018. I sing soprano and I also serve on the production committee. Ella's song was written by Dr. Bernice Johnson Reagan, a founding member of the Grammy Award winning African American all female a cappella group, Sweet Honey in the Rock. Dr. Reagan was deeply inspired by one of the most influential women of the civil rights movement, Ella Josephine Baker. Though Baker's work was mostly behind the scenes, she is easily recognized as one of the most important African-American leaders of the 20th century. The lyrics and concept of Ella's song are taken directly from Ella Baker's words. Until the killing of black men, black mothers' sons, becomes as important to the rest of the country as the killing of a white mother's son. We who believe in freedom cannot rest until this happens. The struggle is eternal. The tribe increases. Somebody else carries on. It has been almost 40 years since Dr. Reagan honored Ella Baker by artfully putting her words to music and 60 years since Baker first spoke them, but their sentiments ring true today more than ever. We who believe in freedom cannot rest. We who believe in freedom cannot rest until it comes. We who believe in freedom cannot rest. Thank you. 
Hello, I'm Tina Calcano, she, her pronouns. I have been singing with PLC since 2012, and I am currently the co-coordinator of the music committee. I am so excited about this song. Hamilton is the story of America then, told by America now, featuring a score that blends hip hop, jazz, R&B, and Broadway. The musical has had a profound effect on our culture for the past six years. In the song, Dear Theodosia, Aaron Burr professes his love for his newborn daughter, while also making a promise to create a better world. Mickey would also like to make that promise and to dedicate this song to her parents, John East and Teresa Dominic, who were beautiful idealists and activists. Enjoy. Dear Theodosia, what to say to you? You have my eyes, you have your mother's name When you came into the world, you cried And it broke my heart I'm dedicating every day to you Domestic life was never quite my style When you smile you knock me out, I fall apart And I thought I was so smart You will come of age with our young nation We'll bleed and fight for you We'll make it right for you If we lay a strong enough foundation We'll pass it on to you We'll give the world to you And you'll blow us all away Someday Someday Yeah, you'll blow us all away Someday Someday My father wasn't around My father wasn't around I swear that I'll, I'll be around for you I'll do whatever it takes I'll make a million mistakes I'll make, make the world safe and sound for you We'll come of age with our young nation We'll bleed and fight for you We'll make it right for you If we lay a strong enough foundation We'll pass it on to you We'll give the world to you And you'll blow us all away Someday, someday Yeah, you'll blow us all away Someday, someday Hi, my name is Julie Foster. My pronouns are she and they, and I've been singing with the Portland Lesbian Choir since 2018. I serve as the vice president for the choir, and I'm also a member of the Equity and Belonging Task Force. Within that work, I am the team champion for PLC in the Change Network, which was created by a fantastic organization called Of, By, and For All. Undertaken this fall, the Change Network program is a year-long initiative created for the nonprofit organizations who want to deepen their relationships within their communities by changing and addressing the internal inequities and systems that marginalize those we most need to serve. Each organization chooses one community on which to focus their efforts. PLC has chosen to focus its work and attention on the Black Indigenous People of Color, otherwise known as BIPOC, queer and queer allied singers here in the Portland area. Our goal is not only to have a membership that's rich in a diverse tapestry of all races and cultures, but just as importantly, we're committed to ensuring the BIPOC community is represented in our musical leadership, our board, our outreach efforts, our guest musicians, and the composers of the music that we perform. 
In alignment with this effort, PLC signed and is actively participating in the Black Voices Matter Pledge, which challenges choirs to specifically address the impact of systemic racism within the context of choral singing. This asks us to devote financial, organizational, and personal resources to decentering whiteness in our internal structures, our music selection, and our community partnerships. We believe this pledge to be in full alignment with our goals and reasons why we're participating in the Change Network. And to borrow from the Black Voices Matter pledge, we recognize that by allowing choral structures and practices to remain unchecked, we embolden a system that neglects excludes and harms Black, Brown, Indigenous peoples, Latinx, Asian, Pacific Islanders, and those with disabilities and the poor. We know that there's much to be done and we're committed to that work. Our next piece was performed by John Legend at the Democratic National Convention in 2008, and it reminds us that now is the time to act on our convictions. Legend has partnered with performers from around the globe and collaborated to create such beautiful works as Glory, which he co-wrote with Common for the movie Selma, winning a Academy Award for Best Song. His contributions to charitable efforts around the globe are as numerous as his musical body of work. It's an honor for us to share the song of hope that calls us all together to be the change makers in our world. Hello, my name is Grace. I use she, they pronouns, and I'm Portland Lesbian Choir's publicity coordinator. 
music can be palpable. It can hang thick in the air around us. It has the power to push us under the current or lift us up to the surface of our thoughts. This song by Irish folk artist Lisa Hannigan is about diving into the music and letting it carry you. In the context of being in quarantine, Alana was interested in exploring what it means to be an ensemble of one. Both the vocal and visual components of this piece represent that exploration. Hi there, I'm Susan Hunter. I'm the fundraising chair for PLC. My pronouns are she and her. One of our early members related what it was like in 1986. It was impossible to be out at work. She might lose her job. And yet she wanted to sing. She wanted to find her one true love and she wanted to stand up to oppression. She found her home in PLC. PLC was one of the first lesbian identified choirs in the United States, but today there are over 190 LGBTQ choruses with 12,000 singers. We dedicate ourselves to musical excellence. We sing to change the world. We sing to express our birthright of joy. And we know that through our singing, uh, we 
expand the meaning of family and caring and community. PLC is stable. We are growing. We have businesses who support us. We have many grants. Uh, we've been recognized uh, for contributing to the cultural life of Oregon. And we have a dream to grow bigger, to have an office and an executive director. If you believe in that future, we welcome your participation. Go to plchoir.org. One might want to give a $35 gift in honor of our 35th anniversary. We're hoping 100 of you will do that. We're also looking for 10 $100 donors and eight $250 donors. We're looking for that amount because that's the amount our box office take is if this were an in-person concert. So think of us, join us, and remember that we are deeply grateful for any help that you can give us. Hi, my name is Amanda Mateo. I use she, her pronouns. I'm the membership coordinator for PLC. Quiet by Milk has played a pivotal role in the Women's March and the Me Too movement. This song has become an anthem for survivors of abuse, sexism, gaslighting, transphobia, homophobia, racism, and oppression of minorities everywhere. We sing it to let others know, we see you, we are with you, you are strong, you are enough, and it does get better. We are survivors and supporters. We will not keep quiet. face, know your place, shut up and smile, don't spread your legs, I could do that, but no one knows me, no one ever will, if I don't say something, if I just lie still, would I be that monster, chase them all away? If I let them hear what I have to say, I can't keep quiet. No, no, I can't keep quiet. Not anymore Cause no one knows me No one ever will If I don't say something Take that dry blue pill They may see that monster They may run away But I have to do this
I bring you greetings from my home here in Baltimore, Maryland, where I am so honored and excited for the Portland Lesbian Choir to premiere the treble edition of Say Her Name. 35 winters ago, my family began celebrating Kwanzaa as our chosen winter holiday. And before we lit a single candle, we would begin every year with a libation ceremony where we would pour water and say the names of our ancestors, both historical and familial. Harriet Tubman, Ashe. Sojourner Truth, Ashe. Josie Spellman, Ashe. Lucy Green, Ashe. And as we would say the names of the men and women and people who had come before us and paved the way for us to enjoy life as we know it, there would be a sense of love in the room. There would be a sense of legacy in the room. And those memories were with me this summer as I began to think about the many Black Americans who have lost their lives due to police brutality. As you hear the singers tonight calling out the names of those we have lost, I invite you to answer that call by learning about these women and their stories, by learning about the loss that they've left behind, and then by moving forward with action that makes sure that Black Americans never again have to worry about police brutality as a threat to our very existence and lives. Thank you to the Portland Lesbian Choir. Thank you for raising your voices in song and solidarity with Black Americans everywhere. Say her name. Say her name, say her name, say her name. She cannot be forgotten by us. Say her name, say her name, say her name, say her name. Say her name, say her name. She cannot be forgotten by us. Say her name, say her name, say her name, say her name. Put her name in the air. Put her name in the air. Put her name. Say her name. Sandra Land. <sighs> Say her name. Rhea Milton. Ha. <sighs> Say, <sighs> Say her name. Brianna Taylor. Say her name. Say her name. Say her name. Say her name. Michelle Cousseau. <sighs> Say her name. Rakia Boyd. Say her name. Say her name.
Natasha Walton. Hello, my name is Mary McCarty. I use she, her pronouns. I am the Artistic Director of the Portland Lesbian Choir. Thank you so much for joining us for this virtual presentation. The act of making music and especially singing during the pandemic is a radical one. We are stretching all of our boundaries. Singers who thrive in a group setting sang alone. Our members who are used to being on stage with a hundred other singers made videos of themselves. We spent hours in front of our computers instead of hours together. And the result is we are still a community. We are making music. We are making a difference. I've been moved to tears so many times, listening to the members of PLC in my headphones, watching and listening as they have made themselves vulnerable to participate in a community they care so deeply about. Thank you for your ongoing support. And we look forward to a future where we can make music in person again. There have been numerous times in the past year where I've felt this is all too much. That the weight and complexity of life's challenges were overwhelming or insurmountable. We've all seen and for many experienced great loss and turmoil these past 11 months. And the path ahead is still filled with anxiety producing uncertainty. Yet here we are together, regardless of the form, and experiencing this magical, mysterious, and wondrous journey of life. Despite all the setbacks, the worries, and especially the day-to-day -day noise, we breathe, we laugh, we love, we cry, we live. And we are reminded that while the path ahead may often be unknown and scary, we need only hold on to each other and to whatever brings us strength and comfort and never give up. You are down and peace can't be 